Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have a massive bombshell of a video today against Hillary Clinton. All right, we are exposing the truth about this woman who ran against Donald John Trump in 2016 for President of the United States and lost, yet won the popular vote. All right, we are diving in deep into Hillary Clinton, exposing the truth about what's really going on and what I believe the public deserves to know about not only Hillary Clinton, but her husband, Bill Clinton as well, who had an affair on her with Monica Lewinsky and then went on live television and lied about the whole thing, all right? And if I don't know what your beliefs are, or what you think about them or, or, or whoever, or who you support, but hey, they are gearing up and they, they use these types of tactics, you know, Democrats and liberal media, they go after Donald Trump, they go after Republicans, they go after this. Oh, Hillary Clinton goes, oh, if Trump wins, it would be the end of democracy as we know it. Oh, he's comparing him to Hitler. Well, hey, look, Hillary, you're not, you're not the brightest star in the galaxy. <laughs> All right, so we're diving in, we're exposing the truth. I believe, you know, <clears throat> This is the last chance to save America. And we're gonna do whatever we gotta do to you know, get the truth out there, right? Get the stuff out there that people need to see. So thumbs it up, subscribe. Before we jump in, we're gonna pray and read the Bible because God comes first, amen? Comment amen down below if you believe that, that God comes first. All right, let's jump in. All right, so firstly, we do have breaking news today. The judge just ruled Fannie Willis must step aside from Trump case or fire special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Of course, wanted to share this with you guys because it just came out moments ago. Judge McAfee rules on motion to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis from Trump case is a massive bombshell for Trump and MAGA, right? Because this is the woman who there, she was the one talking about uh, putting Trump in prison. She was the one who got Trump's mugshot, um, you know, Sidney Powell's mugshot, Jenna Ellis's mugshot, all of these people, Rudy Giuliani included. So this is massive breaking news. Just wanted to share this uh, along with today's video. So let, let's jump right in, okay? This is uh, Hillary Clinton, breaking news. She could be among the top picks if Biden ends up not choosing to run. Let's tune in. Shifting focus now to the United States. Ahead of its presidential elections, voters have expressed concerns over President Joe Biden's age. And now recent polls suggest that the former Democrat presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, there's been 69, there was a recent polling, 69% of Democrats said, think that Biden's too old to run. So this is now uh, Joe Biden's own political party. A vast, vast majority of them, almost three fourths of them are saying, look, buddy, you're too old. So they need somebody younger like Hillary. Is among the Democrats' top picks. And if Biden decides not to run in the 2024 polls, more than 2,000 people participated in the poll and most of them expressed their doubts about Biden's mental fitness. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you probably have your own mental problems if you think Biden's you know, mentally fit. <laughs> Is that too wrong to word it like that? But yeah, I mean, Hillary Clinton did run against Donald Trump in 2016. Hillary Clinton did win the popular vote. So maybe she's like, well, I can do it again. Some voters even said that the U.S. Commander-in-Chief's case is worsening rather than improving. Now, among the Democrats, the top... I don't know how it would be improving. <laughs> To replace Biden was Vice President Kamala Harris with 24%, with Clinton in second spot at 13%. And according to the poll, maximum of the voters said that Biden should not run for a second term. At the same time, majority of the people across the political spectrum also agreed that the U.S. needs another leadership option other than Biden and former President Donald Trump. Yeah, a lot of people are saying uh, Michelle Obama could be a good replacement or Governor Gavin Newsom or now they're even saying Hillary Clinton. Now the spotlight is uh, on the fact that Biden is oldest president in American history, and if he does win a second term next year, he will be 86 by the time he leaves. 86, bro? <laughs> He's 81 now. Can you imagine him in four or five more years? Holy moly. Biden himself sometimes jokes about this. 
and younger voters are critical in any election and Biden's support is slipping drastically in this category. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's honestly not about age. It's not a question of age. It's about mental fitness, right? Because you could go on and say, oh, well, Donald Trump's 77. He's just almost as old as Joe Biden. It's not about age, my friends, okay? I know people in their 80s, their 90s who are you can sit down and have an intelligent conversation with them. You sit down with Joe Biden, you go, hey, Joe Biden, what do you think about what's going on in Israel and Hamas? He goes, ah, hey, hey, where's my ice cream? It's like the dude is just up there and, you know, it, it, it's like people are calling the shots for him, I believe. Uh, now look at this. Hillary Clinton's name emerges in uh, the Epstein documents. I wanted to cover this because I don't think a lot of people are, are, are looking at this, but... Hillary Clinton linked with Epstein? Whoa, what do you guys think about this? Let's tune in. Jeffrey Epstein has just been released. We've been combing through, uh, <clears throat> through this. Nate Foy has been helping us do so. He's live from our New York City newsroom. What are we learning here, Nate? Hey, Sandra. So 29 documents were just released in the past hour, over 400 pages. We're going through it as quickly as we can. And once again, uh, names in the Clinton family have come up. So Big shocker. The Clintons associated with Jeffrey Epstein. Whatever happened to Epstein? Whatever, you know, oh, he <coughs> he died in prison. It, it's so weird because all the, you know, it was the timing of it all. Right before his trial was coming up, right? They The trial was supposed to come up. And now Ghislaine Maxwell's, she's still like appealing this whole thing. And it's like all the victims are now alleged. We know that there was an island. We know that these elites flew on this uh, private jet, but no one's guilty. Who's guilty? Epstein, and now now he's dead, so now nobody knows the answers. It's like Stephen Hawking was on the island. Who else was on the island? Um, we know that Bill Clinton rode on the Lolita Express. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. rode on the Lolita Express. But, and he's come out and said that. He's come out and said he did fly on the Lolita Express. Right, um, but he's the only one. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is the only one who I've actually seen be pretty transparent about it all. I don't think he's done anything wrong at all. But Bill Clinton, I mean, that there's some fishy stuff going on there. And his uh, spokesperson, Angel Urena, being like, "Oh yeah, they were just doing some charity work for the Clinton Foundation." Of course, these names coming out as uh, part of a 2015 defamation lawsuit <laughs> between Virginia Jufre, one of the accusers by Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's confidant. Uh, names that were searched, or at least discussed to be searched, uh, through Maxwell's phone as part of that defamation case include Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Prince Andrew, law.harvard.edu was one of the, the phrases to be searched through her phone, as well as Alan Dershowitz, the attorney. Uh, but the difference today, Hillary Clinton's name uh, coming through as... So... Whatever happened to Hillary Clinton and why isn't, you know, why, why aren't people looking in, into her more? Am I the only one who was looking into it? Because I don't see CNN talking about it, <clears throat> right? This is Fox News. They covered a little two-minute segment on their show. Give me a break. Let's do hour-long segments. Come on. Let's look into it all. As we have seen a former president Bill Clinton <coughs> pop up each of the past two days. Uh, another uh, thing to note, Sandra, in one of the documents that was just released, there is essentially a message book uh, that came out. It's handwritten notes for Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, wasn't there a flight list? A, a list of... Was, isn't there a list somewhere? About who had <coughs> called him. One of those notes reads, quote, she had on the phone Mr. Harvey Weinstein. So we'll keep looking into that. You know what I think is extremely weird, guys? Um is Jimmy Kimmel, right? He was, <clears throat> he was um, basically saying Aaron Rodgers, this guy, um, he, he basically didn't, didn't accuse Jimmy Kimmel of being on the list, but he kind of brought it up as a joke. And Jimmy Kimmel um, basically threatened to sue. Did you guys hear about this? He threatened to sue Aaron Rodgers. Um, over this taunt about potentially being on the Epstein list. <clears throat> and, oh yeah, this is um, him actually saying he was on the... Uh, I was on Jeffrey Epstein's jet two times. I would... that, this is Robert F. Kennedy actually talking about it. <clears throat> uh, in 1993, 
and I was on it in, and I went to Florida with my wife and uh, two children. But anyways, uh, so Jimmy Kimmel, he th is threatening to sue Aaron Rodgers, this um, NFL star, and over this, you know, kind of taunt about taunting him. And then I don't know if you guys saw the Oscars, but there was some weird stuff going on with the Oscars with Jimmy Kimmel and this guy named John Cena. <clears throat> Did you guys see this clip? It was extremely weird. He basically came out with no clothes on. And this is, uh, I don't know if you guys see, know anything about this Hollywood, Hollywood stuff, but a lot of times they take like very masculine men and they put them into these kind of embarrassing roles. And this is not, this is not AI. This is, this is totally real. Um, <clears throat> he, he kind of came out with, I really don't, I will definitely get copyright if I play this. So I'm just going to play an image, but I mean, you can see it. It's like, it's super weird. Like, I don't get why these, and then you look at the crowd and they're all like laughing. They're all like, this is like entertainment for them. Like why, why does any, why does anybody think like, this is disgusting. I don't want to see that. This is Hillary Clinton talking about uh, Trump indictments. I don't know that anybody should be satisfied. This, this is uh, a terrible moment for our country to have uh, a former president accused of these uh, terribly uh, important crimes. It's so weird how she says that. It's a terrible moment for somebody to be accused of something. Well, anybody can accuse anybody of anything, okay? It's, it's, we do have a justice system though, Hillary. Innocent until proven guilty. So, oh, it's a terrible, what did she say? I don't know that anybody should be satisfied. This, this is uh, a terrible moment for our country. A terrible moment for our country that Trump was accused of doing something. Do you realize the words that are coming out of your mouth, Hillary? It's beyond disgusting to even, even say that. It's a terrible moment for our country for Trump to be accused of doing something. People accuse Trump of doing stuff all the time. It, it's about being guilty though. That's the, that's the thing. And I don't see Trump locked up. I don't see Trump behind bars, Hillary. Country to have uh, a former <coughs> president accused of these uh, terribly uh, important crimes. And I don't know about you, but remember, Trump was impeached in the House twice, but he was also acquitted in the Senate, okay? AKA, he was found not guilty. The only satisfaction may be that the system is working, uh, that all of the efforts by Donald Trump, his allies and his enablers to try to silence uh, the truth, to try to undermine uh, democracy uh, have been brought into uh, the light and justice is being pursued. You know what's also being brought into the light, Hillary Clinton? Your husband, Bill Clinton, photos being emerged of Bill Clinton getting a massage from an Epstein alleged victim. This is uh, Epstein's personal masseuse who's giving your husband a massage in the middle of an airport and he's grinning ear to ear. All right, so this is also bring, brought to light. I don't see you, you know, saying anything about this. I don't see you, you know, being happy that this is bring, brought, brought to light. Former President Bill Clinton grins with clear joy as he gets a massage from a Jeffrey Epstein accuser after a flight on the Lolita Express's personal jet. A beaming bubba was captured in a stunning series of newly unearthed snaps, relaxing with a rub down from Epstein accuser Shante Davies, who was also Epstein's personal masseuse. Yeah, did you see this? Bill Clinton was um, <clears throat> approached about the Epstein. Somebody like came up and, oh, Epstein finally did respond to the unsealed documents. Uh, oh yeah, this one. <laughs> this was funny. Any comments on the alleged uh, allegation of your uh, connection with Jeffrey Epstein? <clears throat> That's his spokesperson right there on the right. If you have, if you guys want to do some more digging, like if you guys ever get bored and want to look into this more, this guy on the right here, his name is Angel Urena. He is Bill Clinton's official spokesperson. He's the one who speaks on Clinton's behalf. I think this guy's really, really weird, but that's just my opinion. He doesn't even know what to say. He doesn't even know what to say. And then he, he goes to whisper something in his ear. And then he goes, I think the evidence is clear. I think 
the evidence is clear. Yeah, Bill, I think the evidence is clear, buddy. <laughs> what evidence are you talking about? Uh, this is Hillary Clinton learning of uh, Gaddafi's capture. I wanted to play a little flashback clip. <clears throat> this woman is so wild to me. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. You're Secretary of State, lady. This is while she was Secretary of State, I believe. Unconfirmed. Yeah. Unconfirmed. He go she goes, unconfirmed. Take the phone away, all right? Where's my champagne? And now she's smiling. Oh, yeah. Confirmed reports about Gaddafi being captured. Unconfirmed. Yeah, we've had too many. We've we've had a bunch of those before. We've had you know have him have had him captured a couple of times. Oh my gosh! Look at her eyes. She's like crazy woman. Crazy. She has crazy eyes. You know who she looks like? If you guys ever watched those Adam Sandler movies, um, who's the <clears throat> the guy in the Adam Sandler movies? You guys know who I'm talking about, right? Uh, this guy right here. He's in um, uh, uh, Mr. Deeds. The, the Mr. Deeds guy. <laughs> they look kind of similar. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. She could have played. I mean, she could have had a backup career as an actor in um, uh, 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 Mr. Deeds. Uh, such a great film, Mr. Deeds. Love that movie. I believe this guy's also. He also plays the actor in. Um, uh, what's the one? Uh, Big Daddy. <clears throat> this is Trump shaking hands with the Obamas and not the Clintons. I think Trump is sending a message here saying do not trust the Clintons even more so than the Obamas. Well, I guess they're playing uh, music here. I don't want to get copyright, but yeah, there, there's uh, the Clintons there. There's Obamas and the Clintons. Um, oh, there's Mike Pence right there. And then Bill uh, Donald Trump has to sit next to Obama. I mean, Obama was actually a decent man in, you know, handing off the, uh, the, the presidency to Donald Trump. Oh, Trump actually shaked Michelle Obama's hand, but didn't even look at Bill or Hillary. Hillary didn't even look over. I mean, what a sight. What a, what a, what a wild woman. She didn't even look over at Trump. I mean, I, it looks like they're at a funeral or something. <clears throat> what a joke. What an absolute joke. She looks like she just got mean, mean in her eyes. Oh, there's Joe Biden and Jill Biden right behind him. Whoa. Wow, this is such an interesting uh, scenario here. But I thought that was pretty interesting. I want to share that with you guys and let me know your thoughts. But look at this. Hillary Clinton clashes. And this is a uh, recent clip that just came out. Hillary Clinton clashed. Sorry, guys, I'm still getting over my sickness. So please say a prayer for me. I'm trying my best, though. So if I'm coughing and my voice is a little hoarse, that's why. Hillary Clinton clashes with protester who Hillary Clinton's been getting approached by a lot of protesters lately. I want the truth to be disseminated. So that's a very powerful uh, tool for NGOs as well as international organizations. Somebody asked her, will you denounce Joe Biden's Oval Office speech? So honestly, um, we're, I'm sorry. We've got two more people to hear from. You, you have a chance. Well, I'm not sorry. You sit down and we're going to let other people, we're going to let other people talk. Wow. Just answer his question, Hillary. I'm, she goes, oh, we're only answering questions from people who, you know, agree with me. I'm going to turn now to Frank Mugisha. Frank Mugisha is a leading civil rights organizer who is... Whatever happened to having like a conversation with somebody who, you know, actually cares, like... This guy in the off, this guy in the audience, he's asking a question. It doesn't seem to be like, I mean, obviously he's being disruptive, but we're in a wild moment in our history, and you're up here at Columbia. I mean, answer the guy's question. This woman over here is yawning. I don't know if that's a woman or a man, but to Frank Mugisha. Frank Mugisha is a leading civil rights organizer who is. I'm sorry. You know, this is not some, this is not the way to have a conversation. You when do you want to have the conversation then? What do you mean this is not the time to have a conversation? Just answer the question. If you want to have a conversation? You're welcome to come talk to me afterwards. Oh yeah, like she's not going to just dip out of there right afterwards. Well, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. But 
but well then sit down we've heard your opinion thank you very much now we're going to turn to people who are on the front lines of working on people are clapping for the protester <laughs> behalf of human rights but it's not it's not free speech when you are disrupting everybody else's opportunity to speak because you're sitting up there talking about you know climate change or whatever the heck you're talking about i don't know what i don't know what they're talking about but it's like they're sitting up there talking about stuff that, I mean, who cares about? And this guy actually has a good question. And I've given my answer. I will not do that. So that's the end of our conversation. Okay. But I'll She's wild. I do not like this woman at all. I really hope she doesn't end up running for president. Why would we reward such, not just only dysfunctional behavior, but it's... She's talking about Trump. She's bashing Trump again. She really hates Trump. Oh, so unserious. It's, it's, I saw a columnist the other day use the word silly. It's profoundly silly to watch this circus in the Congress where Donald Trump is the puppeteer. You know, I was in the Senate for eight years, and I know some of the people <laughs> that are still there. I know they don't believe this. And why they continue to give in to him, I don't understand. I think that the border security would have been a very good time to stand up to Trump and say, you've been talking about it. We're delivering for you, Mr. President, uh, and go from there. So we'll see what happens next. Oh, just, I don't like anything that comes out of her mouth. I really don't. Thank you very much. Um, this is another protester coming out. Pro-Palestine protesters shout down Hillary Clinton during a Columbia event. Protesters are showing up left and right to go after Hillary, guys. I mean, people are not like, this is not a one time thing. <laughs> That's my name. That's right. <clears throat> the people of Libya, the people of Iraq, the people of Syria, the people of Yemen. Sir, the people sir. Of Africa, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not funny, but it, it kind of is because it's like Hillary Clinton cannot go anywhere without protesters showing up. Did you guys see the one where uh, protester Hillary Clinton outside her classroom? Um, Hillary, uh, Columbia students stun Hillary by walking out of her class. Uh, not only that one, there, that was another one. This was a, uh, that was another one. Oh, this one. This was the one here. They said, shame on you, Hillary Clinton confronted. This is her going, for whatever reason, Hillary Clinton was teaching a class at Columbia University. God knows who allowed her to do that. But look at this. Look at this. She's she's showing up to her class. And I don't want to play the audio. I don't know who that woman is. That was the same woman from the last one. <laughs> she's like her bodyguard, basically. But she's walking around, and you got kids, um, people showing up, students, it looks like, and who I mean, whoever wants to go. I think Columbia is a public university. And... <clears throat> They're, you know, they're just protesting Hillary. I mean, people really don't like her. Look at all the people there. They're, they got signs. They got, um, they're, they're filming her. She cannot go anywhere without people showing up. And not only that, my friends, they also showed up in front of the Bill Clinton Library protest. So they're also protesting <clears throat> against Bill Clinton, too. I mean, my friends, you might see, you know, I don't see the mainstream media covering this stuff at all. But I, I have to go to these little random news clips and go to TikTok and Instagram to find these videos and put it on my show. This is why when you watch my show, you probably are like watching the show like, wait, Dylan, I haven't heard of any of this stuff on the news. It's because they don't share this stuff, right? Pro-Palestinian protesters disrupt Clinton Center event. I mean, this is not just a one-time thing again. This is time after time after time after time. People are showing up and protesting against Hillary Clinton and against Bill Clinton. 20 to 25 protesters came to a Clinton presidential library event hoping to convince Bill Clinton to help with the conflict between Israel and Hamas. I mean, it's crazy because they're these like liberal Democrats, but they're upsetting their biggest supporters on being pro-Israel. It, it's kind of wild. This is uh, Donald John Trump talking about, uh, this is flashback to the debate. I mean, if Hillary Clinton does end up running, it's going to be a very entertaining debate for sure. Can fact check him, fact check, fact check him in real time. Last time at the first debate, we had millions of people 
uh, fact checking. So I expect we'll have millions more fact checking uh, because, you know, it is uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. This was the most entertaining debate of our lifetime. We want to remind the audience to please not uh, talk out loud, please. <laughs> Anderson Cooper doesn't even know what to say. <laughs> what a joke. I do not like this guy one bit. Do not applaud, you're just wasting time. He's the same interviewing Melania Trump about the uh, accusers. Did you guys hear about this? About the whole locker room talk thing? Anderson Cooper. That he's not the man that I know. <clears throat> How are you holding up? How are you doing? I'm great. I'm very strong. I'm very confident. He tried to like expose and expose um, her and saying, oh, do you trust your husband? And she goes, yeah, I do. The day your husband announced the campaign, did you ever expect <clears throat> all this stuff would come out, these allegations would be made, that you would have to be sitting here defending him? You never thought about that, but I'm not surprised in one way. Because Melania Trump is such a classy, beautiful woman. Anderson Cooper got basically nothing out of her. It was so awesome. And tonight, this is uh, Hillary Clinton saying MAGA extremists are taking their marchers, marching orders from Trump. So weird to me how people trust her and people believe her still. In a brand new interview, former <clears throat> Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is telling CNN's Christiane Amanpour that Donald Trump will likely be the Republican nominee. And she's also issuing a stark warning about a potential 2024 rematch with President Biden. Listen. I mean, again, this is if Joe Biden is able to last that long. So for those outside this country who may not know, it is not so much a, a, a fight between two different parties. It's an internecine warfare within one party, the GOP. Yeah. So when you look at how to go forward for the countries, you say... Is there any area of coalition building that could happen? There are pragmatic Republicans, as you say. Could there be a new, a whole new way of trying to, you know, get legislation going and cross-party governance going? I mean, why are they even entertaining this woman? Why are they even asking her about our, our government, our democracy? It's not. She's not a politician. She's just like. I mean, why, do, why does anybody think that she, what she has to say matters? Like Democrats and certain Republicans <clears throat> are in Well, you saw uh, the number of Republicans who voted along with Democrats to keep the government open. So there's clearly a common sense, uh, you know, sane uh, part of the Republican caucus in the House. Um, anybody who's a Hillary Clinton supporter, in my opinion, does not have common sense. Um, but I think they are intimidated uh they um oftentimes you know say and do things which they know better than to say or do and it will require us defeating those most extreme measures uh and the people who promote them in order to try to get to some common ground where people so is, is hillary clinton saying she wants to defeat me because i'm promoting a lot of i mean a lot of part of my show is not like you guys might think oh dylan this show it's a it's a big you know conservative show it, it's not this is not a conservative show my friends this is an american show my show is to bring the truth out there it just so happens to be that when i'm discovering and looking through all these things i'm like wow trump is actually doing some amazing things and joe biden's actually kind of ruining our country this is not me like i'm not coming here with my agenda it's like this is just stuff i kind of find and share right like i don't see anybody who i i don't understand <clears throat> how people watch Joe Biden's State of the Union address and be like, oh yeah, Joe, you know what? Joe Biden, I agree, you're really helping our country. It's like Joe Biden's like, yeah, give, give me another four years, I'll finish the job. It's like, dude, you're, you're ruining the country. If we give you another four years, it's like, I, I'm scared of what's gonna happen to our country. We see what's going on at the border. We see what's going on. I mean, the I, I hear on the news, what's going on in Haiti, right? They, the gang members broke into the prisons and let it let loose 4,000 prison members. These are criminals. And they're potentially going to come now to America? And we got an open border policy? And it's like, well, they're like, well, under the Biden administration, we know, come to California and get free health care. People can, again, work together. 
That's the way it used to be. I mean, we had very strong partisans in both parties in the past, uh, and we had very bitter battles over all kinds of things, gun control and climate change and the economy. and tax. Climate change? But there wasn't this little tail of extremism waving, you know, wagging the dog of the uh, Republican Party as it is today. Mm -hmm. And sadly, so many of those extremists, those mega extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump, who has no credibility left by any measure. He doesn't? Have you taken a look at the polls? Have you, take, have you gone to any Trump rally? Have you gone to any Trump speech? Go take a look at a Trump speech, then go take a look at a Joe Biden speech. You'll see who has credibility there. He's only in it for himself. He's now defending himself in civil actions and criminal actions. And when do they break with him? You know, because at some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members, but something needs to happen. And how do you and do that? Because you said you have to defeat them by defeating their leader. Their leader right. is Donald Trump. Even you. This is so weird how they're having this conversation on CNN of all places. All right, I'm going to end the video there. Let me know your thoughts with all this, guys. Say a prayer for America. Say a prayer for Donald Trump. And uh, say a prayer for our world, right? I mean, well, there's some crazy things going on in our world, but hey, I think if we come together and pray, prayer is powerful. Thanks for watching. God bless. We'll talk soon.